it's incredible that I can complete this series with exciting news. The first human trial using stem cell therapy for Parkinson's disease has passed its first phase with positive results. Let's get into it. If you are new to this channel, my name is Lama. I was born a nerd and now I'm a science communicator. I create content about neuroscience and genetics. This episode is the last of the series where I focus on Parkinson's disease. You can check out the rest of the episodes of this series here. In my episode about stem cell therapy and Parkinson's disease, I talked about its benefits and future, as well as one of the most interesting studies in Parkinson's disease research, the Blue Rock Therapeutics and Bayer's first human trial using stem cells for Parkinson's. Parkinson's disease affects the brain and how it controls movement. It happens because certain cells in the brain start to die, and as a result, the levels of a chemical called dopamine decrease. Dopamine is important for helping our bodies move smoothly. When these cells die off, people start to experience problems with movement, such as shaking, stiffness in their muscles, and slow movement. These symptoms can make everyday tasks difficult. There is no cure for Parkinson's disease right now, and the available treatments can only help manage the symptoms for some time, but they don't stop the disease from getting worse over time time. Stem cell therapy involves using special cells in the body that can develop into different types of cells. Researchers are exploring using stem cells to replace the dopamine-producing cells lost in Parkinson's disease. By transplanting these new cells into the brain, the hope is to restore dopamine levels and improve motor function in people with Parkinson's. I talk more about stem cell types and dopamine-producing cells in this video linked above. The Blue Rock Therapeutics and Bayer study aims to test this new treatment for Parkinson's disease. They call it Bimdenniprostel or something like that. And it's made from stem cells programmed to become dopamine producing neurons and replace the lost ones in the brain. In phase one, they gave this new treatment to 12 people with Parkinson's disease for 18 months. Participants took immune system suppressors for the first 12 months to ensure their bodies did not fight the new cells in their brains. When they stopped taking their immune system suppressors, the researchers checked how well the treatment worked and if it caused any problems. What they found is really exciting. The treatment was safe and well tolerated by participants. Even after they stopped taking the immune system suppressors, it was still working. So what's next? Phase two of the study will start later this year, including more people with Parkinson's and running more tests to check how safe and effective this treatment is. Why this study is so important? This study is incredibly important because if it works, it could be a breakthrough for people with Parkinson's. Imagine for the first time ever having a stem cell therapy that could significantly improve how we manage the disease's symptoms. Sure, we will need larger studies and more participants from diverse genetic pools, but this is a remarkable step forward in stem cell therapy and Parkinson's treatment. Isn't science great? If you like this video and want to learn more about neuroscience and genetics, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification button to get notified when I post new videos.